wheels all the non-drive wheels and they have tapered wheel bearings which can be repacked so I jacked up the car and I put a jack under there for safety reasons so here I'm rocking the wheel in and out at the top and the bottom just looking for any kind of play from the wheel bearing now behind the uh, cap on the hub is a nut that I'm gonna have to adjust to tighten that wheel bearing up but I'm gonna remove it and have a look at the uh, wheel bearing right now I want about half to none of this play Here I have to remove the cotter pin and then I can take off the nut that holds the outer wheel bearing. There is an inner and an outer wheel bearing but I am only removing the other because the inner wheel bearing takes a bit more work to get out. And if the other wheel bearing looks okay then I'll just leave the inner wheel bearing here's your adjustment make it tighter or less tight and that will adjust your play And remove the washer. So the grease on the other wheel bearing looks like it's fouled up. I'm gonna have to take out the inner wheel bearing and have a look at that. You wanna look for any discoloration or pitting or any kind of damage to the bearing. I'm gonna clean both bearings up in solvent and repack them with new grease. To take the inner bearing out, I have to remove the wheel and then I have to take off the caliper and the rotor. Remove two Torx bolts that hold the caliper on. Here's how to remove the inner bearing. The rotor back on, and put the nut on, and then pull on the rotor and give it a few hits. That inner bearing will pop out. Take the other bearing out first, though, and you will have to use some force to drive that inner bearing out. Put the inner seal back in, find something that has the same size as the seal and then drive it in with a hammer. Make sure the rotor surface is clean when you put it back on. To adjust the wheel bearing, tighten that nut 
while you spin the wheel so you see the bearing and until the wheel stops spinning freely. Then back it off a quarter of a turn and then tighten it again but with no drag. Put the hub cap back on and tighten the wheel back up. Thanks for watching.